Presentation of Complex System Digital Campus e Laboratory. Open Systems Exploration for Ecosystems Leveraging. We are facing a global change of environment. Global forcing that arises from human activity is known to cause this continuous and irreversible shift in ecological state. For example, the desertification of a forest cannot be easily recovered when the whole system shifts to desert. This is known as hysteresis in many complex systems. If it happens in global ecological state, estimated around 2045, when the population reaches 9 million, we should probably come back to the era before industrial revolution in terms of human activity so that to recover the global ecological state. We should act before this catastrophe happens. This is a night view of the Earth. There are estimated 6 billion people, the most influential species on this planet. We are responsible for the global environment and even for biological evolution in the long term. There are many human activities producing environmental load, among which the most devastating one is agriculture. Transformation of landscape by agriculture covers most of the inhabited surface of the earth. The runoff of agricultural pollutant and the release of greenhouse gas is now considered to drive global scale forcing that causes ecological changes even in areas far from human activity. Today's large-scale agriculture is based on the culture of a single crop, eliminating other species with tillage and chemicals. Monoculture on desert is the achievement of productionism in 20th century agronomy. And successfully enough, 70% of dry arable land is reported to be in desertification process by agricultural activities. But how is nature doing? Nature proceeds with diversity and succession. In any place of the earth, ecological succession emerges to attain possible richness of biodiversity under a given climate condition. Today's biosphere we live in is the result of surprisingly intelligent adaptation and co-evolution of microbes, plants, and animals. This is a beautiful example of complex system. Many international organizations are taking initiative to set up effective incentives to harness the environmental change. They commonly propose that alternative models should take priority on small-scale local farming, environment constructing methods of cultivation, fair distribution, and equitable trade. If technologies are the cause of environmental degradation, why not use the technology differently to recover from it? And if agriculture is dominant, why not find a way to design agriculture to promote biodiversity? Does this sound paradoxical? Let's start from the fact. We have a satellite view of the Earth. We now know on time what is happening in global scale with different measures of remote sensing. This is a far massive information than any ancient wisdom when it comes to observe basic environmental state. We also have many database on biodiversity, scientifically accumulated information ranging over diversity of species and ecosystems from all over the world. We will soon have the most knowledgeable and multilingual reference in computer available 24-7. Recently, there is also a rise of citizen science with the development of information technology. Citizens are becoming the key to connect between global database and local activity. For the first time in the history, human has become possible to play the hub in environmental management that connect global measurement and local diversity. With technology and science, we now have cosmic perspectives, astronomical amount of knowledge, and telepathic communication tools affordable to anybody. You just need the idea how to use them and put it into practice accessible to lay people. This is our idea, Cineco culture. It stands for the synthesis of ecosystems, 
in view of production in agriculture and other related primary industries. Sineco culture is based on the diversity and succession, a high-density polyculture of edible species with symbiotic interaction that stems from the observation of natural ecotone and biodiversity hotspot. We first plant the vegetation according to the environmental condition and let the ecosystem self-organize the product with least human intervention. No tillage, no fertilizer, no chemicals. We harvest from the natural formation of ecological niche. This system brings us quite diverse products all around year and thus suitable for local daily consumption. In contrast to the physiological optimum of modern agriculture, Sineco culture is based on ecological optimum similar to the forest renewal. This sounds good, but why couldn't we make it realize before? We believe this was due to the complexity of ecosystems, which contains chaotic behavior, large fluctuation, and immense diversity. Without the aid of database, sensing, and communication technology, human capacity is too much limited to sufficiently manage the unruly dynamics of ecosystems. This is more similar to hunting gathering than farming, to the ecological investment than the culture of plants. It can also be applied for the reforestation of eroded land supporting local food production. Since it exceeds the conventional reach of agriculture, in generalized term, we call it ecosystems leveraging. This project is a challenge that brings us back to the origin of agriculture and question de novo the design of food production in natural state. Let's look back the folk wisdom of local food production. In any region of the world, we can find diverse relations between climate, animals, and plants that infer ecologically consistent structure. These correspond to so-called pseudo-correlation in big data analysis, the correlation without direct causality, but still effective for the actual management of complex system. These symbols and relations form certain universal structure among humans which has essentially common cognition to scientific thinking as abstracted by Claude levi strauss Today, we can make it smarter. With the aid of database, sensing, and communication technology, we can attribute to each ecosystem agent the property of interface for the management of ecosystems. Generally, an interface is an element between two systems which intermediate between inputs and outputs for certain objective. By using ecosystems agent as interface, we would be able to practice agriculture as a symbiotic interface between human and nature. Let's see some example of ecological interface. Honey bees are highly socially organized insect. Their presence already gives index of environmental quality and their products such as pollens bring a wide measure of phenology of surrounding ecosystem. The presence of predators also shows how much level of the food chain is established, therefore gives a measure of what kind of plant will be possible to introduce in the system without pest. With the use of database, we can have a large degree of freedom for the planning of ecosystem and promotion of biodiversity. As an example, we created a paradise of butterfly in Sineco culture field. We gathered edible plants that host butterflies whose potential habitats are listed in the region. This turned out to be a success with a high accuracy of the prediction. Finally, more than 70 species of butterfly visited our farm. We could even find red data list species and other rare insects in our field. We can produce biodiversity hotspot in agricultural land.
then what would be the future? We believe in a state where human activity and nature do not contradict, but in symbiosis. A symbiotic art, where every nature and human is augmented with the use of science and technology, and fully express their potential in a self-organized manner, citizen being principal actor. In this e-laboratory, several projects will be developed simultaneously in order to realize symbiotic art with different approaches. Diversity of citizen practice is the key to the diversity of nature. Remember, we are the most influential species, for better or for worse. Let's make it better.